Hi guys, welcome back to another interesting tutorial. This is Ajilan here. Thank you so much for always coming around. If you're new to my channel, you're welcome. Consider subscribing and don't forget to turn on the bell icon so that you get to know anytime I post new videos. And for my returning subscribers, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. So today I'm going to show us how to make a profitable sewing project that you can actually make and sell for maximum profit and for this tutorial i'll be using the complex split method so if you're interested let's get started okay so for this um, tutorial i'll concentrate on the body's part which is where i'll be creating the pleats so i'm going to keep this aside and here you can see i have my basic uh, bodice pattern and this is the front if you want you can actually transfer whatever we're going to do here to the back It's still okay, but I'll just um, Make or create this on the front side So the first thing I'm going to do now is to mark out the lines where I want my plate to be you know when it when it comes to um, Fashion or designing you need to be creative to stand out from the crowd All right, so you need to have something different that another person does not have okay and i'll be giving us a lot of those creativity from now on all right so now i just have that uh, marked out and i'll connect it straight in case you're wondering what i just marked it is i use the neck width i use the neck width and mark it all the way down okay you know this is it and i use for this uh, pattern here, I use 1.75. I just mark that all the way down and connect it. So I'll repeat the same on this other side. So I'll just place it and then mark because I want this to be very accurate. That is why I am marking it down. Then I'll connect as well. Okay. So this is what I have here. So this is what I have here now. So I'm going to cut this part off. From this part, I'll just take it off and then cut this side off as well. So I'm just trying to be as, uh, as creative as I can for this. All right, so I'll just cut it off. And my plate is going to come in between All right, so I want this part now to be pleated while this side to be plain or better still I can also cut out from this part okay let's say what I have here is two inches so let me just mark it one and half or let me use one and quarter because I don't want it to touch this armhole sewing allowance so this is one and quarter I'll mark it all the way down and slash it open as well then I will repeat the same on this other side. Okay, so this is one and quarter. Then you will need to slash it open. So here you can decide to make it horizontally or vertically. It will still come out nice. So I'm repeating the same one and quarter and then I will slash it open as well all right here you can see i just finished um slashing the pattern this is the center front and this is the middle one now you decide the ones you want to pleat and the ones you want to leave plain right like i said earlier you need to be creative so i want this center one to be pleated okay and then this two is going to be plain this one also is going to be plain then this side one is going to be pleated as well so at the end of the day we'll have a pleated one plain pleated one plain and pleated one now you can see that by the time you follow this way it's going to turn out so beautiful so now what do you do next we are going to for these ones that are plain we are going to leave it as it is now the body's length is eight inches i'm going to leave it as it is because we are not pleating it we are going to be um increasing these ones that we are going to pleat 
I have 8 inches here. Of course, we cannot pleat it as it is. So we need more inches so you can have enough room to pleat. So that at the end of the day, you pleat and also make sure that you have 8 inches remaining after pleating. So for this age or for this particular um, body length, you need 1 to 2. Uh, sorry, you need 36 inches. That is 1 yard to 1 and half yards. For the height of your net, you need that so that by the time you pleat, you will end up having uh, the same body length that you're working with. But if you're making for an older um, kid, you will need more from one and a half to two yards, depending on the body length that you're working with. So this is going to give you like a clue or a guide on how to go about that. Another thing is for you to decide how wide or small you want the plate to be. So for mine, I'll try and make it a little tiny. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do now, we're going to be taking this one after the other. So for this one that, for these ones that have, I'm going to pleat, you're going to be cutting out your satin exactly as it is. It is only the net, which is what we're going to use for this pleat in the net. It's the net that, you're, that you need to increase the inches so that you can pleat. But you need to cut out your satin. Okay, let me just take it one after the other. I'm going to take this ones that we are going to pleat now and cut out the satin first so you understand better all right this is what i was trying to explain earlier you need to cut out place your pattern on the satin and cut it out exactly as it is now you can see that i added my quarter inch for the sewing or joining allowance you know you need this um, allowance so that by the time you join you have it exactly the way it should be if you don't add this you're going to end up messing up the work so now i'm going to remove these two that is plain remember that you need to note the one that should be plain and the one that you want to pleat so i'm going to keep them aside because it's going to be as it is so this is the three that i'm going to be working with now for this three again i'm going to place cut it as it is on my net okay on my net i'll just cut out two uh, pieces of each of these exactly with this length so after cutting it out i will now measure what i'll use for the pleating part so now you can see my uh, my net is already on fold so what i'm going to do now like i said i'm going to cut this shape out since my net is on fold i'll just place it place it as it is and then cut it out it is very easy all right i have the net cut out already so i'm going to take my take the net and place it on the satin and pin it while i'm using this net is because i don't want my satin to be visible after putting or placing the plate on it if you don't um, add net on it your satin is going to be visible so this is how i'm going to place it now all right so if you want you can even increase up to four five of your net and then that is four layers of your net and then place it this way by the time i put the plate on it now my satin will not be that visible so that is why i decided to place my net on it but if you don't mind you can also skip this part so i'm going to keep it aside now i have my one and a half yard like i explained earlier here and it's already on fold so i'm going to start with this one you know this is the biggest part so i'm going to check what i have here so here it is okay i have three and a half or better still i am going to use the satin because we need it exactly with the satin measurement okay so i'll just check what i have here all right this is four and quarter so this is the best one to use so that you don't have any shortage at the end of the day so i have four and quarter now i am going to mark that four and quarter from here down remember that i'm using one and a half i just placed on fold for easy cutting so i'll go ahead and mark this four and quarter all the way down to the one and a half here that i have here so after marking it out i'll be using one layer because I don't want to double it so i'll just use one layer so let me quickly uh, mark this all the way down and then cut it out so we can cut out this other part that is going to be pleated as well 
all right here you can see i have the net cut out i use the four and quarter and the other one you follow the same way for the other one is just for you to measure what you have again on this end and also mark on your um, net and then cut it out so here i have three pieces of it okay so this is the one that is four and quarter which is for this center one so i'm going to start by pleating it on both sides okay so just start for me i normally pin first so that i'll have it exactly the same so that if you um if you make the pleat separately you might end up having one of them not exactly the way this other end is so what i normally do is to pin it so that i'll maintain that inch of the pleat so i'm going to do that i'm going to pin and continue like that after pinning now i will now use my um, sewing machine and secure it on both ends after that i will now place it on the center one this is for the center one and i will repeat the same on this other two for the sides okay so this is for this one this is for this one remember that we are leaving this part plain as it is I, i'm not adding any um, net to it i'll just leave it as it is if you want you can now after sewing everything you can now use your pearls or your beads or any kind of uh, embellishment you want to do you can do that on this plain part or even on all the uh, parts of this front side so i'll quickly plate and it's very easy i am using a knife pleat method so every all the place you face one side so i'll just i'm going to do all that plate it till i exhaust what i have here and make sure that at the end of the day after pleating you will have exactly the body length that you're working with all you need to do is just to place and then secure it before we join all these parts together so let me quickly do the pleating and then give it a good press and i'll place it on this and show you how to close it up and add your lining and the skirt parts of the dress
all right this is where we are so far as you can see from the video i use my pin to secure all the pleats one after the other this way all the plates is going to maintain same inch you know when it comes to sewing you need to be very detailed in your work so that is what i have here and you can see that i just joined it using that inch that i left for my sewing allowance and i just join it inside and then use my lining to join the shoulders together sew the neckline and then the armhole and turn it inside out this is very easy so now i am going to close the side and then join the skirt part here i have the skirt part already done and for this dress i'll not be using any hard net so this is what i have here um, i have a lot of videos that will explain better on how to go about making your um, skirt fluffy like this but if you want a very detailed explanation on this you can join our intermediate class where you get to know step by step or in detail on how to go about making your ball dresses without adding any hard net to it so I'll quickly join the sides together and then um join the skirt part and we are through with the dress so you want when you want to join the side this is how you place it together you open it up and then stitch it using the same inch that you left for your side sewing allowance so let me just stitch this now and show you the final look of this dress so after joining it this is what the dress looks like and you can see that it's already looking uh, very lovely all right so as a fashion designer or as a tailor you need to be creative so try to be creative all that is left for me to do now is to add my lining and then close the back side then attach the zipper all right so that is it for today please subscribe if you have not and i'll see you all in my next video